And that was Skillet the last night. I do have a ton of really, um, oh, like Freakazoid, you know, Meeting on the Dance Floor. Those songs that, uh, for some people, we remember from skating. And Desert Rose would sometimes do these Friday night skate nights. And they were really cool. And she involved everybody. And... You know, we do have that gym at the Spreaker place, so I say that we use it again tomorrow and just have a good time, and maybe I can play some of those tunes, and if you want to join in, that's fine. I'm going to play a couple more, and I have The Night Chicago Died. You guys remember that one? I remember I was a little girl, and it was like an old song already, so I really don't know when it was made, but it's a good song, and I got about three more after that. of a summer night in the land of the dollar bill when the town of Chicago died and they talk about it still when a man named Al Capone tried to make that town his own and he called his gang to war with the forces of the law I heard my mom cry Mom cried. I heard a prayer. 
and the sound of the battle rang through the streets of the old east side till the last of the hoodlum gang had surrendered up or died. They were shouting in the street and the sound of running feet. And I asked someone who said, about a hundred cups a day, I heard my mom cry. And there was no sound at all But the clock upon the wall Then the door burst open wide And my daddy stepped inside And he kissed my mama's face And he burst her tears away The night she called her die Andrew Apocalypse, do not do that. No. Don't put that on Twitter. Are you crazy? Okay, you're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're a nice man. You're not going to screenshot it and put it on Twitter. Oh my God. That sounds so bad. And I didn't mean it that way. So It was just a joke. A joke. Just a simple joke. That's all it was. That's all it was. Well, I love that song, The Night Chicago Died. I have happy memories of being at the roller rink. I was at the roller rink a lot as a very young girl and talking like two years of age on up in gymnastics because I had problems with my ankles. So I, I don't know what the problem was. All I know is there was problems. So <laughs> Apocalypse woke me really wa- right awake and I'm not paying attention to how I feel right now. So I <sighs> Sorry. I I didn't get to take my nap this afternoon, so we had more stuff to do. You know, the only good thing about my van catching on fire is that I've spent more time at home, but it turns out that I've had more stuff to do. At least we got some of the lessons, more of the lessons done that I needed to get done. It's just taken forever, you know? So I have a song that I know is near and dear to somebody's heart. So it's just a cool song. And it's a good song to skate to. Like if you were skating in the 80s like I was. I know I'm old. Girl, you know I love you.
that's a clip that sometimes I like to play because it's fun. And it's definitely a, a skate song. So, my van. The demise of my van. It's been very uh, touch and go the last two years, honestly, with that van. It's had this wrong, that wrong, and... I honestly don't know what happened. I, I had to go to a store to get some things. I went there and I parked and I shut off my van and then it starts back up again. I pull the keys out and I'm like, it's still running. What the hell, you know, and just, and then, um, so I thought, well, I'll put the keys back in and start it back up and then try to shut it off, right? Moved it backward, moved it forward and it just, it wasn't stopping. And then all of a sudden this smoke comes up. I think the starter and the solenoid were having problems. It might be able to be fixed. I'm just, you know, I'm just so done with it. I'm ready for a new vehicle. So the ex fiance is flying in and I'm going to see if he'll do a mitzvah, which is a good deed. You know, because I, I do a lot of good of my, my van, you know, or whatever vehicle I have at the time. I've taken people.